Days after a cougar killed a keeper at a big cat sanctuary, a man who volunteered there is shedding new light on safety procedures. And what he says is at odds with what the owners have said. The night team's Mike Benner talked with him a little earlier tonight, and he's here now. Mike? Joe's name is Derek Vale. He says he is intimately familiar with the whole operation at Wildcat Haven. In fact, he tells me he built some of the cages. While he enjoyed his time there, he says what the owners are saying in the wake of a caretaker's death just doesn't add up with his experience. Yeah, that's Leo, one of my best friends up there. The large tattoo on Derek Vale's right arm serves as a constant reminder of his days as a volunteer at Wildcat Haven in Sherwood. I felt honored to be that close to God's creatures. It was at the nonprofit No Kill Sanctuary where Derek met Renee Radzawan Chapman. The two worked closely together for several years. She was wonderful. Every time I saw her, she was always working hard and smiling. But over the weekend, things took a tragic turn. A police report indicates the owners of the sanctuary found Renee dead inside one of the cages. It appears that she was mauled by a cougar as she tried to clean the enclosure. When I think about her, I just, I can't, still can't believe she's gone. The sanctuary's owners are also in disbelief. They told detectives this never should have happened. In a statement they sent to News Channel 8, they said the sanctuary's handbook specifies that two qualified staff members shall work together during the lockout of dangerous animals. Deserves some Derek says the owners never thought. enforced that policy. She would go into clean enclosures um, all by herself. I saw it happen dozens and dozens of times. I did the same thing. Derek is speaking out because Renee can't. He wants her newborn child, husband and mother to know she was a good caretaker. I don't know what happened, but I know what didn't happen. I know Renee did not go in there and violate a bunch of safety protocols. Now we did reach out to the owners of Wildcat Haven for a comment on these developments. They have not returned our calls. In the meantime, it is worth mentioning there are three separate investigations going on right now. One by OSHA, one by the Sheriff's Department, and one by a specialist hired by the sanctuary. Laurel? Thank you, Mike.